Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the second round match in Group C between Kellathorn and his All World Alliance and Jimmy Fantastic, the absolute legend, uh, everybody's favourite coach uh, <laughs> with Dark Elves. I can show you the table before the match. Um, this was at the state of play after one game. Um, very open with draws and stuff, uh, making things interesting. And... Uh, Who's favoured to win this? I mean, obviously I'm favoured to win this game by far. He's All World Alliance. All World Alliance are a bad, bad team. Um, but I can tell you that he's French and he qualified through Belgian Bowl is the league and the qualifying competition was the Big and Belgian Bowl. Um, <laughs> funnily enough, I am British and I qualified through the Blood Bowl Super League, which, you know, is my league. However, that, that may sound shifty in that I qualified through my own league, but the Super League was invite only with loads and loads of top coaches. Um, I can tell you I beat Diamond in the final, for example. Andy Dale was in it. Lots and lots and lots of good players. Um, too many. About eight of them. Uh, about eight people who qualified for the World Cup was in the league. Nine. I think nine people who qualified for the World Championship were in the Super League. Which is pretty good, really. You know, pretty high, pretty high quality stuff. So there you go. So winning that was pretty, pretty impressive. Um, as we can see, we've both got the the chicken halfling cheerleaders. Fantastic, and uh, he's got quite a good. Do you know what? I played this game with this view, and it actually is hard to tell the players apart. I I probably should have gone red and blue so I could see things better, but I didn't. I did play it like this. Um, maybe a. Maybe a mistake, but there you go. Good, good kick there. But so now I've lost the toss, and he's got a free bribe. Technically, I've got a free bribe as well, but obviously there's no one on this team that I'm going to foul um, because none of them are very good. Um, <laughs> he's got three guard. A block, uh, the block ogre, right? Like can high roll. You can punch things with mighty blow. A couple of wrestlers, a tackler. I guess I could have fouled the tackler maybe if I got him down. Uh, block. Capture sneaky kit half thing that he's not even fielding on offense, and uh, I've gone with the four blodge uh, wrestle block and a 12th player for a bit of kind of reliability. Uh, so, the one guy with block outrageous gets an instant removal. Three D with mighty blow. Really like my, uh, really like my models here. I think they look great. And that's oh, a stun, not a kill. So only one player down in turn one. Picks up the ball. He's pretty disconnected here, but. Because I did rule of five, I haven't got anything on the sides, right, to come around and pressure. Maybe, maybe I should have gone for a sideline thing, but I didn't want to, you know, get under pressure from the frenzy. So I thought, I'll just do rule of five, and that's okay. So I just thought, I would have loved to have gone around the sides and put pressure on, but I just thought, I just can't. I've just got to... Uh, I just got to stay in the middle and control the centre. If I control the centre, they, they just can't score right and they'll give me an easy chance. That's what I'm thinking. I actually played three practice games against or against this actual All World Alliance team with a very good coach and every single time we played, I got the giggles at how bad All World Alliance are. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, I <laughs> literally just got the giggles at like just how bad they were. Um, and then, of course, when I played my actual game, um, it hasn't gone so well. Already, right? Kind of foul. With his bribe. Yeah, so actually, looking back, he exposed the tackler here, didn't he? So what I wanted to do here was, I tried, I, I did, I don't hate this, but I could have got through better. I wanted, I wanted to get in here and, and cause him problems, but honestly, maybe I should just blitz the tackle and foul him, right? 
Maybe I should just blitz the tackle to here and foul them, gang foul them with a uh, thing. What I should have done was, I realise now. Was go through this side with like blocked with this blitzer because he's not doing anything here, is he? And I wasn't going to rush. So if I'd blocked with this blitzer, then this guy could have gone one, two, three. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. And if I'd had instead of this blitzer, if this blitzer had been here and this blitzer had been here, this is suddenly like a way, way better form, like a million times better formation. He's actually in trouble then. He would have actually been in trouble. Um, but I just didn't want to try like, you know, a three plus, which that's stupid when this guy didn't do anything, right? So that was a mistake. This guy should have blocked and then this guy should have tried the three, two, through if I'd gone for this plan. But looking back, maybe I should just blitz the tackle and foul him. Because I, I mean, I did have a bribe as well, like it wasn't just one player that had the bribe. It was pretty bad, isn't it? Now I end up with like five players behind the ball. I, I hated this move as soon as I did it. I was like, oh, what an idiot. So he's just gonna go for his tackle. Yeah, I, I don't know why, I don't know why this blitz his tackle, honestly. Gets the stomp in again, three assist foul. The relentless fouling is, you know, annoying, isn't it, right? Like, he, he's got to do it, he's got the bribe, it's just wouldn't have been doing it if he hadn't got the bribe. So I put the non-dodge guy on the tackle to, to kind of keep him out of it. And I just punch this guy, blunt the attack a little bit, did some safe moves first. He go? No. Oh yeah, he went here to. I would have loved to have gone here, but I thought this is like you know, I'm not going to roll, not going to roll a two. So. The guy who stops him blocking somebody with the tackle gets KO'd. Wonderful. Full power on that guy. And it was stun. Great dice for Jim. Stupid there is huge. I couldn't believe he activated the ogre there actually. I thought that was wild that he activated the ogre. And then dodges this guy off. <sighs> this turn is a bit wild by me. <laughs> I'll be honest. Because the surf's are one into one, isn't it? I probably shouldn't have even tried it. But there wasn't a lot else I could do, I guess. Like, just everything looked a bit rubbish at the moment, so I just thought it's kind of a reset turn that I can maybe just, you know, make a surf. So, yeah. I don't know. Thought a long time about re-rolling that skull. failed that which was a bit unlucky because you know I could have actually got quite far back in the middle right where I was here one two three four five six seven yeah I'd have been there I was only one square different then doesn't really matter I felt unlucky but I guess being one square he's got the handoff to the catcher here hasn't he which is uh, which I instantly regretted putting this wrestler in because the wrestler's meant to be the safety, right? If the wrestler's here, he can't hand off to that catcher. And he can't score. Every every practice game I kept my witch elf as a safety. And then here I didn't. How much 
sure this is the correct blitz, but fair enough, isn't it? And we're off for the catcher. Big, big potato. So he has to double rush to protect. Does he? No, just single rush. And one in nice here. So I actually make a big mistake here. I actually make a big mistake here, annoyingly. Um, I can see what it is. It was this witch elf. It was literally the first move that I made was the mistake. Literal first move I made was the mistake. This witch elf should like being here. Because then when I went to blitz him, Which is great. I wanted this lineman to go one, two, three, four, five, six, right, and get in front of that, and I just I blocked my path with a witch elf. Just so bad. If the witch elf had been here, it'd have been perfect. But I just I just made a silly mistake, and yeah, I was I literally I thought in my head before because I thought, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six. I counted out in my head, literally counted out in my head that the, that the lineman was going to go there. And then this lineman was going to double rush, like dodge double rush to secure it. And then um, then I realized I'd messed it up. So he just went back and tagged him from the back. And then this guy could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then rush dodge <laughs> so yeah there's a big mess up big mess up that I did that and then obviously he rolls a one because it's against tackle and uh, so that, that was my mistake the good thing is that because he's on the back it means he can't reconnect with his team very easily at all so he, it, you know I have forced him to score 100% No, no, it was, it was, it was, it had to be on this diagonal. It had, it had to be diagonally back and then up. It had to be absolutely diagonal, going anywhere else. No, wait, maybe it wouldn't. Have. No, it had to be. Yeah, no, look from there, it wouldn't get there. It had to be diagonal and then up. So it was. I blocked this. I blocked the space with my witch. That's what I did. And of course, he won't fail the one in nine of the ball, so he gets it in. But he gets in on turn six. So. You know, still confident here. Ten players. Three turn score. Not too difficult. Only one reroll sucks, but he does have all the lines. <laughs> I've got that going for me. Very surprised that he allowed me to hit the tackler here. So obviously I'm going straight through there if I can. And he gets a solid defense, which actually makes his defense worse, <laughs> funnily enough. You can argue that I make a mistake here as well. I mean, well, I see you argue. I kind of didn't think <laughs> about the one in nine on the blitz, right? So I'm thinking a push isn't really very good anyway. So if I power him, he's marked and I go straight through. And I didn't really think about the one in nine. So if I thought about the one in nine, maybe basing from here and not caring about where he's marked and not in being unmarked is okay because I could mark the uh, halfling anyway. So yeah, a bit disappointed. One in nine, I blocked my path. Sad, but that's okay. So I'm on the other side of the troll slayer, so being here is fine. And this is fine, and then I can just dodge and jump over anyway. Just don't have the reroll on it. And fail. 
and get stunned. <laughs> so pretty horrendous, but it is a three turn, not a two turn, so it's not the worst. But yeah, I guess I should have stood there, and then if I'd got the both down, um, it would have been all right, wouldn't it? Could have still made a dodge with dodge. Gets the knockdown. No, it doesn't. Wait. Oh, he didn't blitz with the tackle. Oh, yeah, the tackle was marked. Yeah, okay. He didn't blitz with tackle. No, the tackle was the tackle was marked. And he gets Kaz. I thought I don't want his guard to like you know run over and do something. So obviously I get Kaz instantly. Maybe he shouldn't have based that though. I actually really like the halfling where he was. Um, funnily enough, I thought that his halfling was in a good square. Let's just watch this again. Brilliant. Thanks, game. Yeah, I thought the halfling was in a good square here. And if he'd failed this dodge, he was, like, wide open. That was such a wild one in nine to make. Like, absolute failure if he failed it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable point of failure to make that. Kaz's catcher, pretty good. And apples it, of course. So I'm thinking of, with this, if I'd got the POW, if I'd got the POW then, then I could dodge here and blitz him, right? And then everyone could dodge through tackle. Which doesn't seem too good. <laughs> but uh, everybody could have done. Oh, no, no, I could have blitzed him and then everybody would have dodged through, double dodged through. Yeah, no, that's right. I was still going to, I was going to blitz him. So if this had been a pal, I blitz this guy and then like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and go through that way. Which isn't great, is it? Well, because going right side line is a 1D, so then I have to just do it and get the push. I really don't like doing a 1D, right? It's so likely to fail. And then this is a bit rubbish because again I don't even, I've only got one reroll, right? I don't want to try a rush at all. It's just so risky. And I've I've got to make some dice rolls here though with the witch elf. And I do to trap the wrestler so the wrestler's not doing anything. So now he's gonna to have to dodge his tackle at a hit, isn't he? Oh, dead, dead, dead. Wonderful. So, you know, it's a bit of a pickle, isn't it? Especially I'm on, I mean, Chun's column, so if he sacks the ball, it can go in the crowd. He gets the push, re-rolls, get the ball down. So I was very lucky there to escape from that. To be fair. I was thinking here, there was, there was, I was wondering if there was a way to like block, like to chain myself forward somehow, right? Like blitzing the, uh, the halfling into this or, you know, blocking this guy into this and blocking. I did wonder if there was a way I could get myself forward, but I don't think there was without just more dice rolls. Yeah, like there, I was I was sat thinking like, you know, can I block him up there and like block him into there and then if there was a way, but there was no real way to get my catch my blitzer forward, so obviously just blitz the tackle and then dodge and rush. So I got pretty lucky to get the two turn, but you know, not that lucky that I got players killed doing it. So, down to 10 players for the second half. I really did like, so I, I, as I said, I had three games and I dacked every time and didn't really run into problems if I played okay. I had one game 
where I uh, I just wasn't paying attention and it was terrible. But I thought the deck was a pretty good strat. Um, actually, now looking at it, the fact that you just set up a guy to get instantly surfed. Maybe I should have just instantly surfed this guy. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, I should have just surfed this guy, shouldn't I? He just gave me an instant surf. Outrageous. So, yeah, maybe I should just surf this guy. But I was kind of hyper focused on as long as I'm sensible and like, you know, the way he wins is by removing all my team. If I attack it, it saves me like two turns of getting punched. It reduces the chance I get of just him banging everything out. So. I was. I think, I mean, I still maintain that that's good, but yeah, I guess instant surf is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> oh god, and, and there was just no one over here as well, so I could have just smashed up the side and at least taken the 2-1 draw. Like the 2-2 two, two draw, like, you know, go up 2-1 and then take the draw. I don't know. I'll be honest, I wasn't really so focused at this point in time. This is a pretty good defence, to be fair. I was pretty stupid as well. I should have swap, swapped the uh, block witch and the wrestle witch, right? Because I knew I was going to want to hit this guy next turn. And, well, I went the way that wasn't tackle, whereas I should have gone the way that wasn't frenzy, <laughs> as it turns out. But I thought, let's not go where the tackle is, let's go the other side. But I think I probably should have gone where the tackle was. And not where the frenzy was. You do need to go pretty early on it with a dacker, yeah. I mean, I I do try to go pretty early in the dacker, but I think he defends well. I mean, this is my turn eleven, so I make the blitz and make a formation that wants to try and break through. No, no, no. Is, he's got three guard, right? So he can apply pressure. I don't know why I just let him surf me. I'll be honest. I don't know why I just let him surf me. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Somehow. The thing is, the all the lines aren't good at swapping sides. Because they're a bit slow, so I figure if, you know, if he pushes one side, I can just switch to the other. So that's why I left, like, all this to be able to switch. I thought I was quite okay for switching. But, I, yeah, I didn't expect to surf. That was, a, that was a mistake. That was actually just a mistake for me. I shouldn't have let him surf. So I'm okay with switching here. I'm still quite, still quite confident, honestly. Uh, with this, I'm still quite confident. <laughs> but yeah, it's not great, is it? Like the fact that he's, he is holding it pretty well. But I get to push quite far up this turn. Maybe I shouldn't have gone back, the, you know, as far back as I did the second, the second turn. I just didn't. Again, I just don't want him to dice me right by casting everything. And yet here I am on nine players. Yeah, 
There's another one. Brilliant. Who needs mighty blow? Just has everything you touch. Pretty good strategy. And then this is insane. <laughs> he just picks up the halfling and nails my ball carrier. Incredible. Now. Even then, this still isn't even easy, is it, right? Like, maybe I should have blocked with a witch and then just blitz this guy and gone down. Like, I, I can't get past him. Like, he's defended very well. He's defended very well. I can't get past him that side. I didn't look at get, go, switching back the other side. It's turn 13. I've kind of got to go this turn. But it hasn't actually slowed me down because this guy can go and pick it up. But I'm... I would need like some rushes to get up, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. And then this tackle is in the way. So he, he did a good job of defending, honestly. I'll be honest here as well, I really heavily considered the Witch Elf uh, dodge surf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I really considered that. He can't serve me back because of Slayer, he's over there. And 75% uh, of the time I just surface catcher, don't I? Which is pretty good. So I did think about that. But then I thought, no, I have to just be sensible. I'll push him. <laughs> And then Dub Skull, fantastic. So I have to re-roll that, don't knock him over. So pretty, pretty tragic blitz and complete lack of penetration. And now all of a sudden, like, it's turn 14 for me, right? And I've really got to get forward, so... Like, honestly, this is the worst the deck has gone for me. Apart from when I completely messed it up when I was paying no attention at all. This is the worst the deck has gone for me, so I was... Pretty sad. I mean, I have had the least amount of players, right? I'm down to eight players right now. Okay, seven players. Which, you know, seven players isn't good. Just quietly. And he still gets to foul because he's still got the bribe. And gets the Kaz. Fantastic. Now I've got six players. Bribe works. So this is the this is the turn of the game. Um okay. <laughs> Let's rewatch this. Yeah, yeah, he definitely played well. Like this, I mean, people can still play well. They can play better than their opponent and still get luckier than their opponent, right? Like it's not a diss to say somebody was lucky. But he did, he probably shouldn't have activated this ogre, right? I think he made a mistake activating the ogre this turn. Big mistake activating the ogre. Now, how do I go about exploiting it? Dimmy thought, hand off to this guy and go straight forward, which honestly looks pretty good now, doesn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven. But it would be a double rush. And the problem is the tackler would just come back next turn. So I figured what I have to do is I have to somehow come up through here. I have to not hand it off. Though that guy would have got me... Like, he's going back, right? He's going back. I don't want to go back. I want to go forward. I want to go forward, and I need a screen. So my plan is to get rid of these two players and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, r one rush and I'll be in scoring range. And then this lets me get a screen through as well. So that was my plan. I, I, I must confess I didn't think about the handing off back here. I only thought about pushing up through here. And what I should have done, I think, is made it a 1D. Because if I make it a 1D, then I'm tagging the tackler already. 
and on a two plus it's through. But I've only I'm down one reroll, right? The problem is I'm on one reroll because I rolled those double skulls. So I feel like like this is before I make the blitz. I don't consider the end state. Before I made the blitz, I didn't I didn't consider the end state. And then so I thought, well look, this is seventy five percent to get the knockdown, and then I can still do what I want. And then I didn't get the knockdown. Whereas if I'd done the one D, it would have been eighty three percent to get what I wanted. Um, now, as it happens, and then now I realise, well, I can't get through now. So I just have to cage and, and hope for the best. So... Which is better? Then it becomes a 1D. Then it's a 2 and a 1. The witch... What are you talking about? Then, then it's a one D. I mean, I could have one deed with this guy. <laughs> it's not. It's not about the witch. It's about the. I've just said I could have one deed from up here. Oh, the wrestle goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then rush and push back to there and trap yourself. No, that's not better. No, that's not better. This is better. I mean, well, what's better is the 1D. The 1D from this guy. And then the push puts him there. And he tags the tackler. The 1D from here, I think, is the best. Or the 2D if you get the POW. 75% here is really good. 75% here is really good. You push to there. And then you go through. Um, like, you POW him to here. And then you go there and, and you get a better angle. So the thing is, by, by doing the two dice, if I get the... It's got the by far the best success state, right? If I get the POW, then I move one square and I'm tagging the tackler off completely and I'm moving through completely as well. So it's so much better. This, this, this like, I mean, the 75% isn't great, obviously, because then I'm blocking my path. So actually, it's not 75% because I don't want to go through and tackle. But the, the problem with the 1D is I really, 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 really don't want to re-roll it. And then I've got no re-rolls to score. And then what do I do? Because then I'm going to give up on the score, right? I, I, I've got to make so many rushes. If it's diagonal, it should be to the left, not up and left. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a 1D. Ah... The initial block on the guard. Oh, the initial block on the guard. Oh. Did I did I just do this one wrong? Oh yeah, I just did that wrong. Um I mean it doesn't matter for the push, actually it doesn't matter. Does it? No, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Oh it, it could have been two into two. Oh, God, yeah, okay, yeah, the Witch Blitz, yeah. Ah, shit. Okay. So... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. So I should have powered him to here, and then I could have Witch Blitzed. Yes, so this pat, this push direction's wrong. Yeah, okay, that, that, that is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Annoyingly, that is correct. Then I could have witch blitzed. And then, uh, and then actually this guy could then come through up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like he could have come up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She'd have had a rush, though, if she'd done that. And then also, I didn't want the witch facing him. I wanted the blitzer facing him. But I should have thought about that when I made this block. I didn't think about that when I made this block. And I really do think maybe the 1D. I, I was started, I was going to do the 1D. At first, I was going to do the 1D. So, doing the 1D... 
I want to push him to there, right? So, so this is the problem. I'm not, I don't think it's a winning line because I do think my one dice original plan is better than the Witch Blitz because I'm already tagging him and he's down there. So actually, I think I should have just done what I originally wanted, which was the 1D. And then eventually I chickened out. Because the 1D to there is, does become very good. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, rush. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, rush. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Don't have to rush. But then, like, the ogre can probably just punch me. Which isn't great, is it? It was a tough turn. I mean, I've got no players left, right? The problem is, I've got six players. It's, it's stupid. There's not really anything I could do. So There you go. I think I did think about that, and I think, I think that was the plan. The 1D, and then stayed tagging, and then I changed it to 2D, because I just thought, if I 2D, I can power him to there, and then stand here, and... Uh, but yeah, the the one in the the actually the double down wasn't wasn't really good. I was thinking it was seventy five percent, and it wasn't because the the bolt down was bad. So I really should have just kept the one D. So now, of course, it's an absolute disaster because I can't score. He knows I can't score, so he just piles in. I think the one D. I think my initial thing on the one D, and then I just change it to the two D. So. If I was going to do 2D, then I should have pushed him down so the witch could have done 2D. But my initial plan was 1D. So now it's horrible right now. I'm just dodging to 1D and it's just an absolute disaster. And... Roll an instant 1 away from tackle. Wonderful. Now we've got no rerolls. Nice. That was a good 4 plus though. And then the other guy did a 4-2 without dodge. To probably save it from being a loss without those two dodges. Probably save the loss there. That turn at least. That was a good ogre, wasn't it? The rush only gets a push. Wonderful. Pound not so wonderful. But he pushed he pushed the witch off of the tackle. Wow, what a big mistake. I didn't even notice that at the time. So here, I could have gone for the stand in the corner and put somebody in front. Which maybe I should have done. Maybe I should have done that, right? Stand in the corner, play in front. But I, I decided to go for the slightly greedier um, stand here and remove one of his players who can, like, score, right? Um, let's then get the push. <laughs> and then get the board down. <laughs> Fantastic. And then fail this dodge. And, uh, yep. So what he could have done was, he could have blitzed this, he could have blitzed the blodger, right? And then sur uphill surf me, or maybe he's not even uphill surf me, because he's got guard here. So, one, two, three, four, he could have rushed the guard in and then like, just two deed me probably, he could have just one or two deed me, surf me afterwards. So that's probably what he should have done, I think. But uh, what he did was, not that. I think he actually misplayed this turn. Funnily enough. He got the tackle hit. But like he's really run out of players, hasn't he? And like so many of these scatters are not good for him. Especially that one. <laughs> so I think he definitely misplayed turn 16. And 
There was probably some other things as well, but I mean, overall, I think he played great. But, you know, not a lot you can do when you lose seven players, is there? <laughs> At the end of the day, I think he played pretty well. Nope, there's another one gone. And I just lost so many players. It was uh, basically impossible to win, so I was pretty sad about that, to be honest. <laughs> um, I feel like that was the only way I could lose to... Um, all World Alliance was just getting banged out to that extent. But I, the, what I did wrong was switching my plan halfway through. Because my plan was that diagonal pow, so that then I could hit from directly to the right, one dice. It tags the tackler, and the push is good enough. So that was my plan, and then I changed it to the 2D. So if I was going to change it to the 2D, I should have... I should have knocked him down one so the 2D could have been with a witch. But my initial plan was the 1D and, and I guess the 1D was best, honestly. And then I would have been out and put away and maybe I could have still won. But never mind, it was not to be. I did think Kellathorn played very well, so, you know, congrats to him for the point. And this is what the league looks like. Um, I'm in third place on two points, very sad. Uh, Truk was on four, looking pretty dominant as he plays the All World Alliance in his final game. He's, they're playing right now, in fact, actually, in real life. So, again, I would imagine Truk will win that and be on seven points and win the group. And um, maybe Kellathorn will win and go on four. But... And he's actually got scored more touchdowns than Truk. So if he does win, he'll have the tiebreaker against Truk. And he could win. He could win. By the way, Toomish, Truk and Kellathorn are all very good at Woodball, annoyingly. Um, I thought Toomish played great today in his game versus Truk and just got diced. So I'm very not confident of beating him. A draw, we'll see him go through. Probably, yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably go through on a draw. So, um... You know, he, he'll probably just need a draw there, and he'll qualify. We'll, we'll know for sure anyway after after, after Kellathorn and Truk. So, yeah, it's not going to be easy to beat the Orcs at all. Not going to be easy at all. Um, so there you go. Right. Mess up the pathing. Yeah, the first half pathing thing was the worst one. That was that was the worst. That was the worst. Um, that was the worst mistake I made, for sure. That was the worst mistake I made, for sure. It's so stupid. I even thought of the going diagonally to base in front. And, you know, if I had done that, he would have had to go backwards and made a rush or something, or he'd have had to 4-3 through. So, yeah, very annoying that I did that one. And, you know, so you can always you can always play better, right? Even though I got ridiculously banged out. You can see one, two, three, four, five Kaz. Um, a surf and two KOs. I mean, I just absolutely annihilated in the second half. But if I'd played that a little bit better in the first half, maybe I end the first half 1-0 up and win this game. And maybe if I'd stuck to my plan and done the 1D, maybe I'd have won as well. So, again, you know, just a couple of moments that if I'd, you know, maybe done differently, I could have won. But never mind. Uh, but yeah, you know, all credit to Killthorn. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.